20 is a really good number here because 20 years ago at the very first Bring Out Ball, these two met each other. Now they are going to be married. So Andrew and Anthony, can you join me out here on stage? So these two spunks met each other when they were twinks. Back when um, the club before Cube was Meridian, apparently. So you would, would have been cruising around the 80s music and stuff, right? 70s, 70s music. Ah, uh, that's, that's my era. That's what my mum used to listen to anyway. I wasn't born in the 70s, by the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, so Meridian, tell me about it. It was pretty small. It was okay. <laughs> It was good. It was a community run club. So was it one of those dark nightclubs with no lights in the corner? Or Yeah. Yeah, there were there were lights where it was dark. Yes. No, seriously, I, I um I commend you for lasting this long because we all know well in my world, twenty years is just unheard of. <laughs> my longest relationship is in twenty minutes. No, <laughs> No, it's funny, we, we, we joke around, you know, like, and I always say, oh, yeah, I could fall in love with him for an hour. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I commend you, Mob, on doing this. So, you're going to be married very shortly, I believe. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Congratulations. Well, we're going to rehearse this wedding. So, anyone that thinks they're going to be married after Wednesday or in the future, because um, you're going to chuck that, aren't you? That's right. Anthony's going to chuck that and... Oh, well, see, this is what I was going to say. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to wait first. You, these two got to be married now. I'll, I'll just do this. So we stand sideways so everyone can look. All of us. No, you two. Stand, yeah, exactly. You look, look at each other. Now you peer after me. Now, I, Andrew, wait first. I, Andrew. I, Andrew. Swear to take Anthony. Swear to take Anthony. Round the dark corner behind this building, no, Jamie. Uh, as my as my husband. As my husband. No, no, they already went out the back, so we'll avoid that part. Do you have something you want to say? Like, what do you really want to say to him, dude? For real, actually, because this is about love tonight, and I want to see that. So you take the mic from me. I'm sorry, I left my vows over on the table over there. But Anthony, I've loved you for twenty years. It's been quite a struggle to get married. We had to ask seven million people for their approval. <laughs> Ten years ago, nearly to this day, we, we had our civil partnership. It's, it's a bit weird getting married to the same person twice. <laughs> but I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And that you've put up with me for 20 years is pretty remarkable. You get longer for murder. <laughs> Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> it does, does depend on where you are. But I promise, I can't promise to love you perfectly. And I know I'm stubborn. And sometimes I'm wrong. Very rarely, though. <laughs> but I will love you intensely and our life will be filled with fun and travel and new experiences I love you will you marry me oh. get down on one knee bend the knee <laughs> so I didn't do this when I proposed apparently this is you know, one of the things you need to do so now I'm actually asking you again you do I'll probably say yes yeah, I guess so. Thank you. <laughs> and what are you going to say, babe? Well, <laughs> he hasn't let me see his vows yet, so. Uh... Our settlement wanted us to do ninja vows where we wrote each other's. He didn't tell, didn't tell, but he wasn't up for that, so here we go. Andrew James Barr. It says today because it's for Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I promise to love you always and to remind you of this each and every day. You are my dearest friend, my truest friend, my best friend. 
I promise to be there for you whenever you need me. I promise to celebrate your achievements and to support you through both good times and bad. I promise to always wipe away your tears with laughter, a bad joke and a hug. I promise to be your strength, your guide, but above all, your companion and your true love. I promise to make all, I promise to always make time for you no matter how busy our lives are and I promise to make us the first priority. I also promise to continue to surprise you with my uncanny ability to sing along to Rolling Stones tracks. Yes! Even the most obscure ones. I also promise to skip every Bob Dylan or Elvis Costello track, as we both know all too well that while both are very great songwriters, neither of them can sing as good as me. <laughs> Andrew, I'm filled with joy to be marrying you on, our, on the anniversary of when we first met. We have fought so long and so hard to be able to do this, and finally, we are as equal under the law as our brothers, sisters, family and friends. I'm so very proud to call you my husband, and so very proud of all that you achieved. I promise to love you from this day on, faithfully and forever. I love you, baby cakes. By the power vested in me from Swing Out Bola, I now pronounce your husband and husband. All right, you my ready out there. Let's get a photograph of this. Right, blind chuck now, not cheating. Eight. Look out! Ah, uh, and it was caught by the tallest person in the room. 